So before we start building your plan, let's just step back for a second and let's think about your business, this thing you created. Uh, one of the things that I've had to reconcile as an entrepreneur is that my business is not me and I am not my business. I am a human. I started a business. My business is its own living, breathing thing. I'm the steward of it, but it's not me and I'm not it. And so take a moment to sort of think about what does it look like to separate yourself from your business and to just reflect on what your business is. You know, what's your vision for it? And how are you sort of currently tracking against it? How much income do you want to make from your business? How much time and money do you actually have to contribute to your business? You know, when you sort of start to understand that there is a difference between you and your business and you get into reality about what your business is and what you want it to be, and what you need to get out of your business and what you actually can afford both in time and money to contribute to it, you actually start to develop a healthier view of what needs to happen and what the best use of your time and money is. And so the questions that you're seeing on this worksheet are just about kind of stepping back, pausing and reflecting, as we say at Silver Lining, and actually starting to think, instead of having your emotion tied to it and your, all of your you know, shame and guilt and excitement and you know, all the things that we carry as business owners, what's the truth of your business? And what's the truth of you? And the question I want you to really think about as you, as you look at this worksheet is, how much time and money do you have to invest in your business in the coming year? One of the things that I see happening all the time that really gets in the way of success for business owners is that we are unrealistic about what we can actually invest in our business. You know, it's not true that we can just say, well, I want my business to make $5 million and then magically it happens, right? We all have realities. If you have kids, if you've got aging parents, if you've got health issues, if you've got a big travel trip planned if you take three months a year off. There's so many factors about each of our individual lives that impact how much time we actually have to grow our business and how much money we actually have to grow our business. And so we need to make sure that we're being realistic about what you have and then realistic about where your business is at. And then with that reality in place, we can build the right plan that maximizes all those things.